actually like super excited about this haul because it's actually like popular books that people have actually heard of. See on this channel your girl reads books from like 2000 but these are books from like 2016 and like 2015 but the point is they're actually popular so hashtag relatable for once. <laughs> Today I'm here with a big book outlet book haul. I got a total of 17 books for like super cheap because book outlet is the best thing ever and I live super near the warehouse. So my mom and I decided that we were going to go for a day trip and um, went a little crazy but like no regrets. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first book that I picked up is The Outliers by Kimberly McCrite, and Kimberly McCrite is one of my favorite, like, thriller authors. I have only read Reconstructing Amelia by her, but I absolutely loved it, so I saw this and I, like, squealed like a little girl. I've actually already read this. I gave it a 4 out of 5 star. A lot of people say they don't like it, but your girl really enjoyed it, so... I'm very happy that I have it. The next book that I picked up is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I see this on booktube all the time. I've heard that it's like similar to The Night Circus and I absolutely love The Night Circus so had to pick it up. The next book that I found was A Fractured Light and this is by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is the sequel to These Broken Stars and I absolutely loved that book so you know had to pick up the next in the series. The next book is Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. This is the third book in the Grisha trilogy so I now finally own all three so I can marathon it and you can all stop telling me that I need to read this book because I know I need to read the series and I'll get to it. I have it now so it can happen. The next book that I picked up is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. It was in one of the Owl Crate boxes I believe and everybody was like super excited about it so I found it in the Scratch and Dent section for like two dollars and I was like need it so I have it. The next book I have is Survive the Night by Danielle Vega. This is the author of The Merciless which I absolutely loved so I saw this again in the scratch and dent section for two dollars so I was like Danielle Vega need. Which leads me to my next book which is actually one that my mom picked out for me because she's a little angel baby unicorn and so nice to me and it is The Merciless 2 by Danielle Vega. As I said I loved The Merciless I didn't have the second book so my mom was like I'll get it for you and I was like I love you so now I have it and I'm so excited to read it the next book I have is The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall everybody and their mother on booktube loves this series so I was like I need to pick up the first book so I can be a part of all the hype the next book that I picked up is The Telling by Alexandra Saroy and I just really like the cover of this. I've seen it on the book outlet page before but I'm honestly not really sure what it's even about but I wanted it so I got it and it was only two dollars so like justification you know. The next book I have was also I'm pretty sure in an owl crate box and everybody was super excited about it so I was like I need it and it is The Nemesis by Anna Banks. I really like the cover though so I'm excited for it. The next book I have is Conversion by Katherine Howe. Honestly not 100% sure what it's even about but I've seen it so often on booktube and it was only two dollars so I was like need. Have you sensed the theme here? I've seen it on booktube and I was like I need it so I bought it. The next book I picked up is Love in Foreign Words by Erin McCahan and again saw it on booktube wanted it, bought it. The next two books are bind ups of an entire series that I have the first three books for so I saw them for two dollars each and I was like need. They're part of the Seven Deadly Sin series and it's the last seven books in the series so it's a very big series. They are by Robin Wasserman and this one has Pride and Wrath and this one has Sloth, Gluttony, and Greed. Have them? gonna finally binge the series because I have the first three books so super excited about it. The next book that I have is Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Everybody loves this book. I have yet to read it so I found it for only three dollars and I'm super excited about it because time travel 
I love time travel books, so it's gonna be a good one, hopefully. And the next book that I picked up is Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. I've never read an Abby Glines book, but everybody seems to enjoy them, so I figured it's like gonna be a super cute contemporary fluffy read. Every once in a while, after your girl reads a couple thrillers and they're pretty gruesome, we need a fluffy contemporary read, so now we have one. And then the final book that I picked up is actually the first book in a series where I have the second book but didn't have the first book. Why? I bought the second book and not the first book. We'll never know. But it is Bad Taste in Boys by Carrie Harris. Honestly, I'm estimating that this is going to be a rant review book, so I'm not mad about it, but we'll see once I finally read it. Alright guys, so that was my 17 book, book outlet, book haul. There's a lot of book in that sentence. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.